can't talk about exploring without talking about Bear Grylls. And he has literally written the handbook on everything you need to survive in the wilderness or in extreme situations, especially if they're a Boy Scout or they like to hunt in camp. And there are two other volumes that you can buy as well. This is just the first one. This survival camp book is going to be more the extreme situations, like if you're stuck in the desert or quicksand, how to get out, um, how you can climb certain fences and um, find what animals dung you can eat if you're absolutely desperate for water. <laughs> um, all this really fascinating information um, that Bear Girls has become a kind of a household hero. Then our favorite one is this extreme planet. It's just all this extreme stuff throughout the world, like the ocean, all the reddest creatures, the reddest place. Um, it kind of bulks them all together. At, they'll put like one category and everything on that page has to do with um, that, like the most deadly creatures. We have several encyclopedias, but this one's the most general one where it covers a lot of different topics and it uses brilliant images that just get really get you really interested and you can scan in the QR code to go online and learn more about that topic. And this is something I recommend you just putting out on your coffee table and encourage your kids to look through that instead of picking up an, a tablet. We have advanced lift the flaps. Lift the flaps is not just for preschoolers and young kids. Um, these prove the point because these have information in here that a four-year-old would never understand. They have information in here that this woman right here doing these videos doesn't understand all the time. So um, if you have a child that's into any of these topics that are online, just look for Lift the Flap and you'll find some advanced ones. They'll Some of, some of them include math, um, periodic table, and whatnot. So look for those as well if you're doing homeschooling. But these ones are the two that I just pulled quickly for you to kind of show you the range and graphics and the flaps. To learn about a hundred females over time that cross all diversities um, and cultures and time period in history, um, this is a great book for that. It really does highlight these amazing women that you most likely, some of them you haven't heard of, but most likely most of them you have, such as Amelia Earhart and Mother Teresa, Judy Bloom, my favorite author growing up. One of our brand new titles is Dr. Maggie's Grand Tour of the Solar System. This actually takes you on a tour through the solar system and it explains it in a way that sounds like you're actually on that tour, such as you'll be putting on a certain suit to go on to the planet Mars since you have to breathe in carbon dioxide, you'll climb a mountain, you'll have, to have a snowball fight on one of the moon or on one of the planets. It's a really fascinating way to approach the space and universe. Another favorite series is The 100 Things to Know About, and we have several in this series. These are just three of them, but the food one is my most favorite. Talks about different, did you, like, did you know cornflakes have metal in them? Or that certain foods during the Great Depression were, um, I guess, supplemented with things like sawdust to make them last longer? And last but not least is this chapter book series. Um, they look like chapter books, I guess. They're paperbacks, and it's going to be all about dinosaurs, but it goes beyond. So it's called, So You Think You Know About Whatever the Dinosaur's Name Is. And it, it's not just the typical facts that you would find in any dinosaur book. And they have il illustrations, and everything has kind of like a different way of presentation, so it's not just like a long, boring textbook. This is a great supplement to history. It's History Uncovered, the USA. Um, you're going to discover our country's history from, from the time that they began with 13 original colonies all the way up to modern day. And it, you do it by going layer by layer. And you will see as the states add to the union, you will read a lot of facts about the people and places that were developed at that time. And check out this brand new series called The Extraordinary Life Of. These are going to be chapter books that are written for school age kids. And they are spot colored, so it's just one color throughout the whole thing. But there's photos and big direct quotes that are pulled out and graphics and different ways to tell their story. And they, um, it'll talk all about what their contribution to society and the world is.